Hey guys, welcome to Wild Camp and NI. Uh, this is the start of the Great Glen Canoe Trail. This is day one, so... It's that Wednesday today, so, so we'll wait till we get the, <laughs> the microphone on to a bit, a bit more of a chat. As you can see, we're all set up, so we're getting ready. Go. Getting ready, all the guys are here, and Gary and Jamie's eager to go, eager beavers. <laughs> Everyone else is getting set up. Alright guys, so this is us on the water, we've been on the water for about what? Two hours? Two hours now. And um, it's as we thought, <laughs> pretty wet. And um, we had it the worst time, I think between 12 and 2 was whenever the, the thunderstorm was at its worst. So we've got, we've got pretty wet, um, but it seems to be calming down now and we're, we're making a bit better progress. Um, but aside that there, it's, it's, a pretty, it's pretty beautiful around it. Like. Ah, well, part of that there, you know, for a lot of it we didn't see because just kind of looking on the knees and paddling in the hope that it would get somewhere. But, it's pretty strong. Strong yeah, um, been, it's been pretty strong headwinds for the past hour and a half and some real heavy showers in amongst that there. Um, but we knew, we, we knew watching the forecast that was going to be the case and bar every single sign from the boat to, to here had, oh, yeah. it, had it up. Yellow so, <laughs> yellow well war. <laughs> Uh, I can't say that. Yellow weather warning Yellow of heavy rain and thudding. <laughs> Yellow weather warning of yeah, rain and thunder. Uh, so we kind of knew it was coming, but we're hoping that it clears up for the, for the next few days and we get some some nice calm paddles. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Wet, but enjoying it. Best to get wet in the first day whenever you're nice and fresh and excited about what's ahead rather than like three days in whenever you're tired and Right. Hungry and sitting there like, oh nah, not more water. But we have Iron Brew, we have Pagus, and we have Lauren Ducky, so and, yeah. we're all good. So that's for dinner tonight. And lots of chocolate bars. A monster. That is one of the joys about going on the canoe, is you can just bring a big coal box. Oh, we also have a lake. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so we do plan to do all five days. That just turned off for me. No, still Is it? No, it's still going. <laughs> so yes, we do plan to do all five days, but we are currently nursing a leak on the boat. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Hopefully, if it's something minor, we can repair it tonight. Um, uh, but hopefully, it doesn't get any worse over the next next few days. Yeah. But and hopefully, the wind changes direction so we can get our sail out. Yeah, that would be good too if we could actually use them and save a little bit of time paddling. But yeah, it's Check back again, guys, here. that's it, we'll catch us in a bit. Alright guys, so that is us at the end of day one. Um, we are now coming into Gerlachie. And um, for any Scottish people that watch our videos, don't laugh at how I say that. Like, that'll probably be quite common throughout the week. But yeah, today was a shorter paddle um, overall, but with the headwind and the weather, it was kind of just get it done to the rough patches. And then there was some nice bits to be fair, but it was it was a pretty strong headwind. This is Portage 1, complete for them. We took the lazy option and dragged the boat up the hill. How was it? Good. Good. 
Hey guys, we're just at the first camp, so we are uh, the first day's camp, uh, Gerlaki, so it is. Uh, we got here at 4 o'clock, we did think it would continue on a bit further, so we did, but it was wet and windy and the wind was against us, so we decided to uh, set up camp here, I'm going to show you this camp now, so it's one of the, the wilds or the non-commercial campsites available on the lock. And, uh, but yeah, it's windy and it's wet, but the wind's actually was towards us today, so it was, so a bit of a slog, so it was, but the wind's hopefully going to change overnight and go with us tomorrow, so that should be a bit better. Everyone's a bit wet, and we're all just going getting showers and getting warmed up. And then the, the one tigress smoky hut tonight, so I'm with some off brand mesh in her, so it's, it's pretty good, so it is. I'll go and show you around some of the other guys' setups now as well. Well, Gary, Gary's got the full. <laughs> look at this here, he's got the full clothesline out. Oh, pegs. Um, he's brought pegs and everything. Gary's, Gary's a dark horse. Look at this here, guys. Full Be clothesline. Be <laughs> clothesline pegs, they work. Don't blame him. Gary's in the the Burghouse Cairngorm too, I think, Gary, so far. You went last night, weren't you? Brilliant, uh, Good great, job. Great room. Great wee porch. It's a big size porch, isn't it? Yeah, look at that here. Brilliant, brilliant. And you kept your seat in a bag so it was dry? Yes. Was. Yeah, my seat was left outside the bag, which means it was very much not dry. dry. So, no seat for me tonight. And we have Sam and his green nature hike. One man coffin thing. You know what, it's not terrible like. No, it's not, it's not. But it's just a wet well, it's not great. I thought I had burst. My air mat already? My air mat again. Oh wow. And I was sitting there, I was like, this keeps going soft. And I was like, oh, oh no, but it really. wasn't, the, the out bit was not closed properly. <laughs> this looks like goodness. Well, you can see here, this is Gerlocky, isn't it, guys? Yeah, Gerlocky. Gerlocky, this is where we're camping. That's one of them, we're around, one of them free camps that is, but it's all us. We're all here, apart from we've got one friend at the end there, it's not us, but Ryan's in his two man tent, yeah? Yeah. Two man tent. He's went and had a shower. Shower, good job. Very warm. Very good. needed. Good, good. Might go and join you, mate. Too. Well, not join no, you, but not me. <laughs> might follow your footsteps. We're not that close. <laughs> As, uh, I have the one tiger smoky hut, and Chris has got the Polish lavu, and Jamie's got his Lux Peak, which is something similar to the smoky hut, but a lot better quality, from what I can tell from looking inside of it. So, Chris is. Cooking up a feed as always. Hey guys, how's it going? Maybe sneak peek at the new t shirt there, guys, but we'll show you it tomorrow. So, yeah, we all have them, but we haven't got them all at the minute. And PJ's found himself nestled in here in the corner, so he has not a babby spot. PJ, and there's this is upper lock, and there's lower lock. Our boat has suffered, well, it is an old boat, as you know, anyway. But it has suffered somewhat of a bit of damage to the bottom, which has led us to have a leak. Small drip, probably about two or three litres of water over two or three hours. It's not the end of the world, apart from the fact that I have to spend my time feet in the water, but I do use it anyway. Okay, guys, well, that a quick rundown of camp. I'm going to get some food on now, Sam. Um, stopped off at a local co op and got some Scottish breakfast items, Lauren. Haggis, black pudding, the works, you know. So, we go make up some breakfast wraps and I'll catch you all later.
morning guys, this is the morning of day two and um, we didn't really video any cooking or eating anything like that because it was pretty bog standard stuff porridge all around I think and some breakfast bars for the most part um, we're up, it's 20 past 8 now, most people's ready to go Jeepers, oh look at that there, hi uh, <coughs> Most of us is ready to go, packed up I think it's going to be the same kind of thing most mornings Quick morning, up, some food on the water game so as we can spend more time at night in the daylight so we'll see we aim to be on the water <coughs> in the next 30 minutes and we'll check back in then well guys we'll just do a bit of that tip up here because i thought the damage is there as it was but actually we'll find it along the hole here so let's go sam things here see the hole's nice and hard but there's a bit here in the middle it's obviously water hole here which is kind of soft to touch and it's just pushed through a little hole so it has there not that actually that little so it's not but <laughs> it's enough <laughs> So we're going to put on some, not some plastic, but some off the scratches and then we'll put a bit of duct tape on for now and then we'll fiberglass and we'll go home, repair we go home. Shit. Hopefully that's a work, so it'll... Alright guys, um, as you've seen there we were repairing a little bit of the boat and we were trying to melt plastic into it um, but it wasn't very successful and we are about to head off this morning in the next 15-20 minutes so we've just duct taped up. Day two saw us entering Loch Lochy. It was the first lock of the trip after traveling the canal system the previous day. The first hour or so of Loch Lochy had us batting a strong headwind and a bit of waves. So we took the opportunity to stop at a beautiful beach. This gives Jamie a chance to get the drone up and as you can see the scenery is stunning and the lock, although smaller than the other locks later on, is still quite vast. After lunch, we had a short paddle up the canal system before entering Loch Oik. Loch Oik is a smaller loch in comparison to Loch Lochy. On its northern shore, there is the ruins of Invergari Castle, and just in front of that is the shipwreck of the Ela Ban. As you can see, it's quite eerie and quite enjoyable to paddle around. Due to issues with some of the sizes of the campsites along the canal, we find ourselves paddling late into the evening uh, on day two, up past the River Oik into the canal system towards Kytra. This ends part one of our Great Glen Canoe Trail 
videos. The next part will be starting with day three where some of us tackle the rapids of the River Oik and head into Fort Augustus and then straight on into the vastness of Loch Ness. So if you've enjoyed this video please come back and join us for part two and as always give us a like and a subscribe and a wee comment. Thanks for joining us.